time continues to run down here in the third quarter. Midway trailing Mejia 24 to 2, a minute 50 remaining in the third quarter. And Brownell Smith and his boys really needing to get on the scoreboard at this time. There's a good look of the Midway cheerleaders introducing the Mejia cheerleaders to their uh, fans. We do not have the Mejia cheerleaders' names. I wish we did. This time getting the call, Dwayne Oliver. Oliver up across midfield inside Mejia Black Cat territory at about the 49. Now they're marking it right on the midfield strike. Second down and eight. Well, I'm going to say it once again. Mejia has a good football team. They have good speed offensively, some good skilled people. They play good defense, and they will be wrecking with the district this year. And don't forget Monday night after the football game, after the news, stay tuned for Friday Night Magic. It's about the Texas high school football. Uh, You'll see some Central Texas teams. It's an excellent show. If you like football, just try to stay up Monday night till about 11.30 and watch it. Herba wanting to pass, and he's going to be set. Number 28, Vince Palasota coming in from his cornerback position to put the stop on Terry Verba. Loss of about seven or eight yards on the play. Third down and 17 now coming up. You spoke of Friday Night Magic. Some of the games featured this week from Central Texas include this one right here, Midway and Mejia. Also highlights from the Jefferson Moore, Fort Worth, Carter, Riverside matchup and the Temple Abilene Cooper game. So tune in there after the late news on Monday for Friday Night Magic. Welcome back to Panther Stadium on the campus of Midway High School in Waco. Dale Caffey here along with Butch Henry. About to begin the fourth quarter of play, our score, Mejia. 24, Midway 2, Midway now forced to punt the ball on a 4th and 15 situation, number 14. Brian Lane will do the punting. He is a backup quarterback too, Dale. Tonight, the Black Cat Department performed two walking in a coal mine. 